or uh, maybe a thunderstorm, thunder shower, just gonna roll through for an hour. Are you ready, Bean? Ready to go camping? I don't think you've ever been on a boat, huh? I'm helping, I swear. The last two things I got, because there's some stuff behind my seat. Oh, good. So, it begins. I'm gonna be camping and fishing for the next two days on the Connecticut River, fishing for largemouth, smallmouth, pike, really anything that bites. I've never done this before with my dog. I've gone camping with her before, never like this. We're gonna be finding an island on the Connecticut River and setting up shop for a couple days. Big walleye, dude. Big walleye. Yes, dude. What? I can stay out at the spot that Very quickly, things are coming together. And I just want to show you guys how cool of a setup we have going on right now massive tarp on the bottom here just so we're not on the ground with the spiders and bugs but got our coolers with all of our food got some hamburg chips hot dogs cheddar worse and i don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see in here oh fine but this is my cot right here i got a my cot my sleeping bag my sleeping pad fishing gear clothes and my buddy has his cot his sleeping bag table waters yeah, pretty roomy. Yeah, super roomy in here. I think this was better than the tent just because of the easy setup. Yeah, and it's bigger than any tent. Like, yeah, because I like having these ones you can stand. That's nice. Like most tents, you have barely have standing space. Yeah. This going in. Yeah. Also have these ice mats that I use for ice fishing. It's gonna be perfect just to walk on when we take off our shoes. Good for my dog for her paws. So. She's not walking on the hard ground. Grabbed all my uh, fishing gear for a couple days. What I'm gonna do is dedicate basically one day to whatever bites like bass, smallmouth, stuff like that. And then the next day, I think I'm gonna dedicate to slightly bigger lures and for some pike. I found my tarp. Should we use it or? What do you think? You think we're gonna need it? I can't Let's just say no for now and then just in case. We'll, we'll keep an eye on the weather. If it looks like it's going to downpour yeah. for an hour, then we'll Dude, throw because it we have plenty of trees yeah, to attach it to Yeah, we got good coverage, anyway. that's for sure. This is, that's why this is a dope spot, too. Like. Oh, I did bring... Yeah, I don't trust people's curiosity, so I'm going to bring all of my rods. Ready to go. All right, so our camp is basically kind of like in this backwater spot. So that's where I think we're gonna start fishing this morning. But literally we have two days full of fishing so we can go wherever we want today. We're also gonna fish the main river as well. I think I want to get on a good topwater bite this morning. So I'm going to start off with this uh, sexy dog. Would you call me? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> Yo, right or left? Uh, right, that way. Like right shoreline? Yeah, that way. Fish go shallow. You're fucking, you're fucking shallow. 
what Maybe. I'll wait five, so I think we were... Smally, dude. Small milk? Are you serious? Wow. Way up in here this time I'll here. take that. that. Oh my gosh. Alright. First fish today. Didn't take very long, but a uh, small mouth on the spook. That is a uh, good way to start off the morning. And uh, he wanted it fast, too. Yeah, don't worry. Let me just pull the weeds out for you. Yeah. If we don't get another bite, are we going all the way back? Got him. Okay. Dude, I can't reel fast enough. I think so. <laughs> Not bad. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I need a reel with a higher speed a ratio. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a nice chunk there, eh? It's crazy how it's just like, yo, if we don't get another bite, smash! <laughs> Not a bad largemouth. Man, he crushed that thing head first. Okay, you can go. Jeez, he tore up my thumb. Oh my god, Netter. I think so, but he might be back out. No, that's Don't see him. I see him. Woo! Nice job, dude. Nice yeah. job. That's a good chunk. He was kind of fat. He doesn't care the shit out Yeah, it could. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude. Netter, netter. No! Dude, I can't reel fast enough with this gear ratio, man. Going mock speed. <sighs> oh, did you see that? Oh, on an overcast day like that, right? Where you're not worried about heat. <laughs> That's it's not big, but it's a bike. Nice. What are you using? Uh, that one was the Titac 100%. He must have hit right at the boat, right? Yeah, he was like right there, yeah. He's a good eater. Little guy. Yep. Here's their bony. Hold on. Oh, 
soccer. That is another reason I... Nah, it's a pro show. Alright, I'm gonna switch up to a spinner bait, I think. That is. Yeah, I didn't really know what to expect. Well, there's that. All right, there you go. All right. Well, my first hit on the uh, spinner bait. Just this tiny little pike here, maybe 14 or so inches. Oh, way to give me a chance. But yeah, it's been probably maybe half an hour since I switched to the spinner bait. And I did actually have a probably five, six pound pike follow my spinnerbait right to the boat. But then we kind of made eye contact and he dipped and never came back, unfortunately. And that pike had to be 30, 32 inches. But we've probably been fishing now for three hours, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. And so far, just those few fish to show for it, they've really shown some interest in topwater today, especially my buddy's Whopper Plopper. Now, I've caught some on the spook so far, but the Whopper Plopper definitely has gotten more blow-ups and the bigger fish. You can barely see it through the trees there, that orange. But, I mean, we're right on top of it. We only have to be maybe 30 yards away, 40 yards away right now. Like, when we were back right here, we couldn't see anything. So pretty cool that we're uh, tucked away back there where not, not a lot of people can see us. And since we've been fishing now for a little bit, it's time that we head back to camp and make some lunch or something. All right, you should probably yank it. Here, you can chew on this blanket, good girl. Yeah, there we go. Hey, my good girl. Yeah, relax, good girl. Um. All right, so my buddy got the fire going. That should help with the bugs around here. And I just gotta say, this camping spot is super cool. Not what I expected, honestly. A little bit better yeah. than what I expected. <laughs> I agree. Gonna whack all that? Yeah. Dude, I think it'll be nice for our feet and Athena's feet as well. What's up, Bean? I see you. Oh, what the heck, Bean? I see you. You didn't jump on me. Honey wheat bread. Camping tote? It's kind of what they do at fishing camp. Um, what size floor uh, you think will work the best? I mean, I think. Well, we don't even have to for you, Kip. The front door of the camp.
on the boat with my buddy and Athena. And we're gonna be headed actually to the main portion of the river right now. Right now we're kind of in a backwater spot and that's what we fished this morning and we had some good luck, but now we're gonna be headed to the uh, river, like I said. So I switched over to, I believe this is a quarter ounce shaky head with a flatworm on it. And I'm just gonna be uh, dragging this along the bottom, fishing the main river here. Now, when it gets a little bit more shallow, I might switch up lures, but when it gets uh, pretty deep, I really like to drag the bottom with some sort of like jig, shaky head, drop shot, something like that. Got him. No yep. Yeah. Little guy. Uh, no that way. Rock bass. Rock for now, so. Yeah, we already did some fishing this morning, caught some pike and some smallmouth. And, you know, it just, just for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so glad I don't have to drive today or even tomorrow. Right? Like, it's so much nicer to not have to worry about going back tonight. Jesus Christ! Something. Yeah, dude. Okay, I can't see what's in front of that guy, but he's doing something bad. So good. I don't even try, dude. I see a raft. So this is where we're starting. What? This is where we're starting. Yeah, but this whole shoreline is fire. Whoa. Oh, she broke. Got him. Ooh. <laughs> he ain't done yet. So I think maybe uh the top water, huh? The uh top water is a good idea. Cool. Wow. What a chunky little smallmouth on that top water. Definitely a top water kind of day, I guess. Were you oh, that was God. <laughs> Oh. A pike too, huh? Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, he wanted that thing. Yeah, dude, jeez. I saw him coming, too. Yeah, I saw him come out of that grass yeah. right there. Alright, I need to get him out of here. He was about to hook me. Yeah. I remember catching some pike or at least having some good pictures. These leaves look poisonous. <coughs> ah. How do you, how did I get something? I'll throw the crankbait for a little bit. Did you put the mayo back? Yes. Alright, what do you think? Give me a point. Call it by. The big overhanging way up there. Got him. Dude, that feels like a nice one. Okay. I doubt it is, but it just feels like a good one. 
Walleye. Should we uh, eat him? I'm game as. Oh, dude, that's game? cool. Yeah. Is he in the slot? Oh, he looks like he's e in the slot. Yeah. You you What's sure? the slot? I think 16 to 19. It's a tight slot. I don't. E he's close enough to take. Uh, no, like... no, no. I want it to be exact. I don't want to be close enough. So it's like 16 on the dot. All right. So that's actually kind of a cool catch. Um, now, if that walleye was like a quarter of an inch bigger, um, we'd be keeping that and making fish tacos with it. I have everything to make tacos. Um, on the oh, it's right there. Yeah, but I believe the slot limit, according to my buddy, is between 16 and 19 inches. And that was 15 and 3 quarters. So just a tad bit under. So we just looked it up and actually that walleye was a keeper walleye. The slot is 16 to 18 inches where you're not allowed to keep them. You can have three under 16, but only one can be over 18. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So 16 to 18 is no keep. Can I keep fishing and hopefully uh, we can hook into anything, honestly. Um, a bass would be nice, even another walleye to make some fish tacos. I played darts, right? It was, it was a holiday week. I called my first walleye and it wasn't fishing. Walleye, baby. Nope. So. Smalley. <laughs> Missed the, uh, the canal to get in. Is he diving? Walleye. Yeah, there's them. The ropes. <sighs> Made it to shore. Yeah, I think sandwiches is a better idea. I think we should save the hot meals for like a dinner. Oh, she's cooking, dude. She's gonna come right up the middle. Dude, I bet it's gonna be like slow, 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 slow. Yeah. Nice too, over here. Oh, everyone go on. <laughs> Up over there, and shit. Probably gonna make another sandwich, honestly. All right, so we are back at the uh, camp. Obviously, we got the fire back going. Overall, pretty successful day. Typically, I don't really do that well on the Connecticut River, but today has been pretty well. If we could connect with all the fish that we had swing and miss at our lures, we would be having a fantastic day. But uh, right now, we're just gonna chill. Hang out by the fire for a little bit. Let the rain ease up maybe. Yeah, let the rain ease up a little bit. Well, as you guys saw, we added a little bit of a roof to our camping site. Because we looked at the weather tonight and it's supposed to rain roughly about half an inch. So we are looking at quite a bit of rain tonight. But either way, we are back out on the boat and we didn't have much luck fishing the main river. So we're just gonna go through and fish all this backwater spot again. All right, so I'm gonna be starting off with the spinnerbait as well. I had that really nice follow earlier. No. I think I'm onto something, you know? It's just all different now. He's setting my hook. Do you? Oh, there's a bite. You got it? Yep. No. Not quite. Oh, Good one, man. On the flatworm. Ooh, cool. Not a bad largey on the uh, flatworm there. Dude, it was taken off like to the scary. side and everything. <laughs> 
And that's how you snag a spot. So obviously made it back to camp and uh, we're gonna cook some cheddar wursts, make some dinner right now. Hey, you know what's sick about the tarp being like that? Dry a lot if we want. Right over the fire. Oh, yeah, that's you know? true. Yeah. Good. A little shrink. Good, isn't it? A little shrink. Don't mind me, I'll just climb around you. Got the you know, nice little. I can't help you, you do it. <laughs> you know I'd run. We can you know, gotta give it like 20, 30, 40 minutes. Good. There is two cheddar wursts. These are gonna be some good cheddar wursts. Mm-hmm. Oh god, yeah. What was that sauce your mom made? Um, peach barbecue. No game for that, that sounds way better. Uh, excuse me, Bean, Jesus. She's looking at this one, doesn't even realize the one's right in front of her face. So the plan for the rest of the evening is just kind of chill, relax for a little bit. Doing an outro. All right, so it's raining out pretty good. So me and my buddy decided not to go fishing this evening. As you guys can tell, this was probably gonna be like all night long and even a little bit worse as it gets to 11 o'clock. But if it starts thundering lightning out, I might break out the camera just to kind of show you guys what's going on. But uh, we threw the last logs on the fire right now. And uh, right now we're just kind of getting ready to uh, chill out and uh, hang out inside the nice dry tent. Yeah. So, right now I'm inside the tent, and it is supposed to rain, I guess, all night until maybe midnight or so. But honestly, if anything, that's just gonna kinda help me sleep. had actually a pretty good sleep last night listening to all the rain and I'm just going to uh, walk around probably aimlessly for a little bit waking up and then probably gonna eat something gotta have my energy drink yeah I got all three of those things wet The rain actually ended up coming down basically all night, so we did zero catfishing, but we always can do a little bit of catfishing tonight. Here you go, girl. Yo, uh, we want a 
munched down on anything? Made it out onto the boat. Now I only have about an hour and a half left on my memory card for my chest cam. But other than that, I'm gonna be using my other GoPro for a little bit as well because I still have about five, six hours left of film time on that GoPro. But uh, right now we're gonna be headed out of this kind of backwater spot to the main river. And we're gonna be headed down river to a rocky ledge. And that's where we're gonna be starting today. No. girl all right so gonna start off with the spook early this morning oh oh my gosh i just got hammered dude first cast Oh my gosh, okay. No, he missed the bait completely twice. Yeah, dude. Got him that time. Yeah, I think so. He's swimming right at me again. Cool. Well, I think the spook was the uh, right choice this morning. Buddy already. Uh, got blown up. Cool. Not a bad smallmouth to uh, start off. I hope not. It's not as maybe even a little smaller. Damn. Didn't even hit hard either. God, that one hit hard. That's a nice one. Yeah, netter. He's coming here. Dude. dude, that's such a fighter. Ah, nice God, job, dude. dude. Not giant, but Thank damn, you. He put up a fight. Yeah, he did. Hey, bro. I can't remember. Oof. That is another nice one on the spook, too. Just a couple twitches and got smashed. He was hanging out right in that grass right there. My buddy just got blown up again. Well, here's what I'm thinking. If we end up fishing the shoreline after this, do we have on camera? Should be. This. That's probably why my thumb's so messed up. Splam. Or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get. No! <sighs> Damn. That was a good one. Yeah, it was. It was like a ball of three anyway. Same old Nintendo. Uh, Like almost like a group of fish. 
Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Got him. That feels like a nice yeah, one. Yeah, that looks like a nice one. Yeah. All right. Don't corrupt now, file. Come on, GoPro. Ooh, nice Molly. Nice Molly. Nice Molly. She's coming up. She's coming up. She's going back down. Nice. Thank you, dude. Nice. Woo! That is a solid smolly right there. Can you see the belly angle? Yeah, that's the <laughs> angle I got for Oh, dude, you can there. feel the fish or something in there. We can see it. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, I wonder if that's a fish. Crazy. Like a baby turtle. Here. Yeah, they're, they're, all right, well, I'll keep you updated. Dibs. Switching things up from the uh, top water um, walking bait to a crankbait. Just this wind is a little bit too much for my spook. I think it's a walleye. Walleye, baby! Oh, yeah, smaller. That's gotta be a keeper. That's right? gotta be a keeper. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. He is under the slot. It's not even close. Um, he's a 14 incher right there. So he is going to be an eater. Got him. Got one? Yeah, good pike. Good pike? Yeah. Good, good? Uh, not good, good, but a decent one. He's just digging. Yeah, I'd say so. I still have the spot. I got my glass on. Glass. Oh, dude, you don't look good back there. Gotta be easy with him. I might drag real loose, so if he wants to go, he can go, but. Ooh, big, 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 big walleye, dude. Big walleye. Digging. Yes, oh, dude. dude. Let's go. Dude, look how fat dude, that one that's is. A big one. Is that your big? Hold on, because I got Ooh, that looks right at 18. 18 and a quarter. Oh yeah, that's 18 yeah. and a half right there. First cut, right here. Cut it right down like that. And then stick in like this. And just follow that backbone. Try not to do what I just did there. But just go right up this backbone. Straight across. You want to go over the top, you can feel the backbone. All right. You want to go over the top and you'll come out right there. And then just run it down the backbone all the way out. Like that. Or pull the back. And we'll come around the backbone there. This is if you want to do it meticulously. I mean, if I got a bunch of fish, like crappie and stuff, I cut it here, and then I just turn the blade and I run it straight back on the small fish. But one like this, I want to try and save all the meat. Just follow. 
That's true. As you're going across. Like I say, after you do it a few times, it, it, it's really easy. Look at okay. this. Not bad, actually, I think. I'm gonna put my beer. Oh, they gave us two slots. They gave us two time for the holiday. So, probably not the next scene you were expecting, but I ran out of SD cards for my GoPros, and then I ran out of batteries for this camera right here. So I really had nothing to film with. And that was the first time I've ever filmed something like that. So I definitely learned a few things, like making sure I have way more SD cards than I think I need, because I actually did have enough SD space, just two of my SD cards would not work. But one thing I really wanted to try when we were out camping was walleye fish tacos. Now I've seen a ton of catch and cooks with walleye and they all look so good. So when we caught those walleye out on the river, I definitely wanted to try some tacos. But it's been two days later since that camping trip and I've had the walleye on ice ever since. So the ice has melted a little bit more than I thought it would. So I hope the walleye wasn't just sitting in a bunch of water, but should be fine. Man, God, look at the size of that filet. There's one more thing I have to do and that is get rid of, I believe they're the pin bones. Don't know. We're just gonna skip on that today, but we are still going to add some cayenne. There's some Cajun. I need more of this. I want quite a bit of oil, actually. We'll just use the rest. They dry. Into the dry. Into the wet. Back in here. Back in there. Do those look tasty or what? I can lie, the second round I think went a little bit better than the first round. First round is um, a little bit undercooked. So we are gonna put the uh, first round I did back onto the pan for a little bit, but these ones, I raised the heat up and these ones came out perfect, nice and crunchy. First, we're just gonna eat one of these plain. And then um, I might make it into a uh, fish and ketchup taco, but Ooh, so hot. Oh my god, that is bomb. But I am definitely going to be doing that again. If I catch another walleye, I definitely want to cook them up and eat it. So I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised how well that tasted. There was actually zero fishiness to it at all. To be honest with you, it just kind of tasted like a really good like Cajun chicken nugget from a restaurant. Because this was my first time trying to film two days of fishing and camping, I know I probably did not do the best at filming everything. Actually, because I had so much fun camping and fishing this time, I'm definitely gonna go again before winter comes. But I come up with videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.